What up, chat? What up, Dan's Kyle Jr.? How you guys all doing today? We finally have enough news in the Bally community to talk about on stream. What up, Zipkey? There's finally enough stuff to talk about, chat. What up, Banks? As you all know, we've been plagued with a series of not-so-great weeks in terms of Balasong news. So at last, here we are with some interesting things to talk about, um, including, but not limited to, the Cycloid HD, the... I was going to say machine-wise drop, but that already happened today. So, like, that is kind of old. Um, the Nabali stuff that I know some people are excited about. And whatever else comes up. But first, how is everyone doing today? You guys all doing good, chat? I hope you're all doing well. You get a haircut? I did, and I told them we, we went much shorter. Much shorter than I have in the past. Because the idea is it'll hopefully be grown into the place that I want it to by the time I go back to college. But it also just, it's just nice to not have to worry about fucking hair in my face or covering my ears or all of that stuff so it is an exciting day i need to get a haircut there is i will say there is very little worse feeling than having your hair be so out of control that you just like you can barely get it to a point where you're you're happy with how it looks, which is pretty much how it was for me. You could get it there, but it would it would like mess up so quickly. It's insane. And then it would also be some days that you would wake up and like, oh no, I was sleeping on I was sleeping wrong on this side of my head, and now I have to freaking like use the might of Zeus to get everything like lined up. Definitely, definitely recommend the haircut gang. <laughs> what does that even mean? What, what, what am I saying? What am I saying? I'm going to, I'm going to be completely honest with you, chat. I've been in a weird place all day. It just, it just felt weird. So I'm probably going to be saying a lot of stuff just for the sake of saying things, you know? Um, the one thing that I, oh, I did want to talk about this, but I didn't watch this video yet. Denden. Denden made a, uh, review of that new, like, Kraken rehandle rep Balasong thing. And I wanted to watch it because I did want to talk about it because the design of it looks very cool. Am I only saying that because it has a Kukri blade? Yes. I am, because I think the X's and the handles are really weird. Still looks cool, though. Especially considering that you don't really... It's not, like, specifically a Kraken rehandle. All right, let's get, let's get stuck into the first news topic officially. Because we talked about this the last time I streamed, but the last time I streamed wasn't an official stream, so it didn't count. Um, Nabalis has made two new exciting announcements this week. Following their redesign competition of sorts for the Hydra Blade. And they have revealed the new Hydra, complete with a Japanese Tonto Blade. Similar to something that you would find on like a Nami or something like that. What up, Supremacy? Final touches your ballet design. Nice, Banks. Um, but this is, is pretty cool. Now, I have to admit, 
I probably shouldn't be saying this since apparently Nabalis is sending me one of these for a Blade Bias video. And that is a whole nother story in and of itself. But I'm not the most hyped on the Hydra, I can't lie. It just, it was a bit too like Squid Industries adjacent for me. A very handle bias, low cost, like Triton level flipper to me. Um, machined well, felt good and all that, just not my thing. So I'm hoping maybe this blade will have a little more tip weight than the old Hydra does. Because you can see the Hydra is a very, it's a very thin point. Uh, so maybe, maybe this thicker area will make it have more tip weight or something. I don't know. I'm not really holding too many hopes. I don't really hold too many high hopes for Bella songs that I get sent lately. Uh, because <laughs> it's better to just hold no expectations and then be pleasantly surprised like I was with the Cycle 8 HD than be really excited and be let down like I was for the... Tech Noir, I guess? I don't know. But this is the far less exciting thing to me because they also in the same breath announced this this is the bushing buddy a bushing lap of sorts it's not a bushing lap but it's like kind of is at the same time it's really weird i'm not entirely sure how they are making the claims that they are because they're talking like, you always get an even bushing, of course, because you have this tool that helps you keep it flat and whatever. But they also say that you won't undersize it, which, like, I have no idea how that happens. I don't know how you're making it so that you can't undersize a bushing, considering that every Balasong needs different bushing sizes, even within Nabali's own lineup, I would assume. And someone brought up a great point the other day that not a... Not every blade, even of the same Balasong, is, like, the same. Like, there's there's inconsistencies that happen there. So I don't really know how they're achieving that. But as a little tool, like, it looks cool. I hope it comes with the sandpaper. What up, Jack? Because I am not really someone who has the ability to make sandpaper that would fit through this. You can see they have, like, a long like rectangular thing and they make like a strip of sandpaper i don't have that so i hope it comes with sandpaper because i believe they're also sending me one of these but it's cool especially my biggest hope is that it works on other bushings other than nabali's to make this thing just like a really cheap simple solution to tuning bushings which i know a lot of people are hoping for but we'll see we'll see again no hopes no don't expect too much, you won't be disappointed. Because I think it's probably pretty likely that they, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's probably pretty likely that they don't work on other bushings. But we'll see, we'll see. <sighs> we will see. Um, also, I learned the other day, or I guess, like, yesterday, that Nabali's actually sells, like, a screwdriver set and a micrometer. This isn't, I'm sure this isn't their products. In fact, it almost assuredly isn't, but I'm assuming this is what they use to tune all their stuff. And they sell replacement blades for the Vault, which is pretty cool. So any of you that have, like, a Brandon edition that want a silver blade, I guess you can get that if you want. But, yeah, it's a pretty a pretty cool thing. I'm down with that. Anyways, um, oh, did I get rid of... This is supposed to be the tab that has my stream on it. God damn it. Utopia is good. What is Utopia?
Travis's new album. I don't know who Travis is. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, what else do we got today? So that's the Nibali stuff. Nibali stuff looks interesting. Uh, expect to see videos covering it over on Blade Bias. As usual. As usual, as usual. Also in the news is... Oh, Travis Scott. The Astro World Tour. Travis got Fortnite burger with McDonald's. <laughs> um, actually, I mean, it's not really news, but I do want to see what the machine wise drop was today because when I checked the other day, the upcoming drop page was not updated. Ooh. Ooh, they have like like the snakeskin. What's the company that does like the snakeskin blades? Um Blitz IQ, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Um what it what was it? Oh it starts with an R. Am I stupid? Like the super expensive Ryeworks. Thank you. Thank you, Banks. It's like the Ryeworks blades. That's really cool. I like the Seraph. I like the Teal Seraph a lot, actually. That's great. Teal Seraph Trainer is cool. Ooh, that's an interesting Sliff T. Green and purple. I like it. Silver Prisma, Sliff T Trainer. Final sale. Opus trainer, blackening testing, two tone. Ooh, Dalen's getting into blackening. Okay. Final sale. What does final sale mean? Is that just like blemish? Like you can't return it? Also, 475 for a snakeskin seraph is a crazy deal. Opus trainer for 300, that's a crazy deal. I would have bought a, a blemish silver Prisma V2. A moderate anodization blem. There isn't even an anodization on the silver ones. What do you mean? Okay, that's a hype drop. Yeah, those are crazy prices. 300 for an Opus trainer and 475 for a Serif trainer that looks that good. I mean, granted, dimensional inaccuracy and bushing holes diameter isn't great. But Dalen, I'm pretty sure promises that his... Pretty sure he promises that all of his blems will... Like, have up to standards or up to snuff flipping performance, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure that's something he promises. I'm not exactly sure. Doesn't he? I don't know. I do not know. This Slift T is cool, though. Not my favorite. But, I mean, it doesn't have to be. I already have a Slift T. Okay, cool machine noise drop. Dope. Um, the other thing in the news, which I don't really care about, I have to be honest. But. Try the Opus Blade and the Slift T yet? I have not. I need to do that, but I just haven't had the time. In order for me to really try out all the blades and record all the blade bias videos, it's going to require like four hours of time. Which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but I really haven't had a spare four hours lately, so... I'm going to need to do that. But here is the next piece of news. I don't really care about this because this is like, this is old news, but Purple Swordfish. I personally don't care because Purple has been in Squid's lineup for so long. And then they just like randomly took away Purple from most of their collection. So. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
Yeah, no, I won't take too much time because it is it's Ted stuff at the end of the day. I got to get it back to Ted, but it's going to be it's going to be another like week maybe. Purple on the swordfish. It does look clean. I don't mean to just like swipe it under the rug. I'm just weirded out because like squid squid is so weird with their colors. They had purple and now they don't have purple. They used to have silver, and now they don't have silver, except on some of their models. Some of their models have purple, some of them don't. Now the swordfish has purple. It's just really, it seems really arbitrary to me. It does look cool. But, like, when you really get my interest with the swordfish, when you combine colors. I don't know why they're so hell-bent on just not combining colors. Like, where is the, yeah, where's more of this? Where's more of the red and blue? Give me a teal and a purple. Give me a, give me a blue and a teal. Give me a silver, uh, I mean, they've already done that. Give me a red and a purple. Give me a red and a teal, you know? I want to see some more stuff like that. I want to see some more stuff like that. Swap out a prism blade and the Seraph anyway. I'm not too unhappy about a bushing issue for the blade. Did you buy a Seraph? Because if that's your plan, then that is like, that's perfect. That's literally like... Oh, you got a hell of a deal then, Julia. Actually, wait, no. Did you get a hell of a deal? Because like the... I need to remind myself, how much does he sell the Seraph Trainer for? He sells the Trainer for 400 So, I mean, I guess you get the cool... Cool handles. That's cool, though. I hope you, I hope you enjoy. What I want to do is go back to squid right i get distracted way too easily yeah squid's color lineup just seems so arbitrary now it's like some some of them have silver some of them have gunmetal some of them have purple others of them don't what happened to green they used to have green where'd the green go what about like i don't know uh whatever so yeah, purple, purple uh, swordfish. I love how we as a society, if you look at the comments of the squid announcement page, where they announce purple, it's just everyone saying like a different thing. Like I said Thanos car, someone said lean. Um, I'm sure someone said, yeah, Grimace Balasong. I love how we as a society, every like couple of years, become fascinated with the color purple again like first it was thanos car and then it was lean and now it's grimace and it's like i'm sure in the future it's going to be some other purple thing that happens purple cup i want an all black madco probably going to be waiting a while for that one Our society just loves purple. I want a Harlequin swordfish every color panel. Yeah, I wish I wish they would give us more customizability. Like the whole point. Not the whole point, but a big draw of the swordfish to me was the fact that you could customize it however you wanted. Oh, I can have an orange thing here, a blue thing here, another purple thing there, and then a, a darker blue thing there, and then a black one there. Like... You could you could do all these cool things with it, and then Squid comes out and they're like, "Yeah, we'll give you we'll give you purple, silver, black, teal, silver, black, blue, silver, black, black, silver." Um, black and all the other colors.
The edit is so interesting because you can customize it. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge thing about the edit. Is the customization of it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, some of the more basic color options look cool. Like, I like the silver blade with the teal handles. But I also want the option to do the purple blade with the teal handles. Or the red blade with the purple handles. Or the blue blade with the teal handles. Or customize more, you know? Squid is a very interesting company lately, I feel like. Because they... They took away their like daily drop or their weekly drop thing. So I feel like they've just become far more opaque in terms of, hey, here's what we're doing. Here's why we're doing it. This is what's going on. Why can I not buy a, sh a silver squid trainer anymore? That's what I want to know. I want to know why I can't buy a silver squid trainer. Where did it go? I don't know. Gunmetal is cool, but I would like silver. I want a live beater, and why not my most expensive ballast song? That's a crazy take, Fangs. I want a live blade beater. Why not the most expensive thing that I have? That goes crazy. That goes crazy. Does the Nami still have a crazy secondhand value? I thought the Nami finally went down a little bit. Although then again, to be fair, I haven't seen too many Namis drop or drop on the secondhand market lately. So maybe it is. I don't know. Here's what I want to know. I want to know why the comments on Blade Bias have just been so strange. The video that went up today, I don't recognize, like, I've recognized barely anyone that left a comment. And I swear, no one has ears. No one has ears. I have, there's so many comments that are like, how is it compared to this? And I literally say in the video that it is better than that thing. But how does it compare to the Kraken Trainer? Did I not say in the video that it's, I think it's better than the Kraken Trainer? <sighs> I'm going crazy, chat. I'm going crazy, chat. <laughs> I think this might be crazy to say, but I think Blade Bias is, is going to approach the point sooner rather than later of it's too big for me for me like just too much to to deal with in terms of i still read every comment Kraken Trainer is good, don't get me wrong. I like the Kraken Trainer. I just prefer the personality of the Prisma. The staff pick, the Crackerack and Trainer V3. Why do they not have blue or red available in the Kraken Trainer? I will never know.
Yeah, the Kraken is still the standard. What up, June? I, uh... I flipped my Kraken the other day, and, like, it's good. Like, I... Every time I flip the Kraken, I remember why it is in the position that it is in terms of being, like, the standard for the community. Did you get a haircut? I did. All right, now, I mean... This is the title of the stream, and I haven't even talked about this yet. This is the Cycloid HD chat. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is by far Zippy's best product yet in terms of feel in the hand, in terms of flipping experience, in terms of everything that it could be. This right here is Zippy's most quality feeling product. This has a level of premiumness to it that you don't really get with Zippy's other products, or even, honestly, with some other plastic ballast songs in general. So, it's just like 2.78 ounces heavier than an Edit Light with the adjustable balance. This thing's really good. My video on it will be out Sunday? What's today? Thursday? Friday? Am I crazy? It's Friday, so yeah, it'll be out Sunday. But I really, really like the the Cycloid HD. Compare it to the edit. The edit is smoother overall. I think it the edit flips a little bit light or a little bit better than it. Um, but this just feels better built. This feels like it could hold up to more drops. This feels... It just feels like it's made out of better materials, because it is. I think the edit flips a little better, because the flipping of the edit is fine-tuned for that one profile, whereas this is very user-customizable. And when you have that much user-customizability, you can't really make each and every balance profile flip perfectly, like you can with the edit. So I think overall the edit flips a little better. It's just a little smoother and a little like more normal, but that also could just be because I haven't messed around with the weight profiles of this that much, so. What balance do you got in it? Right now it's missing one ball. So it's all weights in without one ball and it feels good. My biggest complaint with the Cycloid V2 was the fact that the the handles didn't have any weight to them. It was all the weight was focused in the ends and the spacers. And this brings the weight distribution from the ends of the handles and moves it up the rest of the handles. So it's much more even in its distribution, meaning that I can run more weights in this and it still feels pretty neutral. I wouldn't exactly call it neutral, but it's certainly not heavy handle bias like the same configuration would be in the V2. But this is, this is legitimately sell your V2 and get a V2 HD kind of like material. In fact, I'm considering maybe doing exactly that, honestly. It's, it's really good. I like it a lot. Using the bottom weight caps as well. What? No, those are the spacers. There's no weight caps here. That's integrated into the balisong. Oh, I guess that's a, a bit of an annoying thing. You can't upgrade the, uh, you can't change the color of the handles like you could with the V2. I guess that makes sense, though. What up, Pyro? How you doing? Is it quiet? Yes, that's actually something that I bring up in the Blade Bias video. 
It is extraordinarily quiet. Like... You guys can't even hear it because it it doesn't like go past the noise floor of my microphone. It does have the like plastic slap, but if you don't flip it that hard, it's 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 pretty quiet all things considered. Like when I'm flipping it, you would be hard pressed to really hear too much noise altogether how are you doing pyro I'm just be doing. I don't know what that means, but I'm happy you you're doing it. I'm I'm happy you're you're good. You got a cool ballet coming tomorrow? Did you did you buy it or did you get sent it? Because I think I think we asked you when you were in stream the other day a que a question about what you were what ballet song you were going to use your new work money on. But I think you were gone by then. Oh, you bought it yourself. So I'm very curious to see what Jack's first purchase is from his, his new job money. No one is going to be correct. Take a guess. I got it for 140. Okay. I'll guess, but I want I want two hints. One is it second hand and two is it a clone? Yes, second hand, no not a clone. Okay. My first immediate thought is a is a machine wise ballet of some sort. So of course your thoughts are gonna go to like a secondhand Prisma Pro, but I feel like no one's selling their Prisma Pros because they're just that good. I also don't think it would lose that much value over time. Basically, just saying if you were to buy a secondhand Prisma Pro, I think you'd still have to pay like one sixty for it, at least. So. In lieu of that revelation, I'm going to guess that you got a really good deal on something that's a bit more expensive. I'm going to guess that you got... You wouldn't buy a glider belly. You wouldn't buy a BB barfly belly. I don't know why my my mind just keeps coming back to the swordfish. Mega steel? Oh, oh, we're talking about like a huge okay, shit. Um What's a more expensive ballast song that Pyro would want? You don't need any more Krakens. Talisong. Oh, 
Well, Talisong Z, I guess. You obviously didn't get an original Talisong for $140. If you did, you just scored the greatest that anyone has ever scored in the Balasong community, ever. I don't think he got a Zyzix for $140. <laughs> Considering people still want Zyzixes, and Zyzixes are also worth about $1,000. I'm kind of close. A fly one? Don't tell me you bought a fly one. Okay, you you I was gonna say if you bought a fly one, I think I think I could have relentlessly bullied you for that. Even if it was two hundred dollars, three three fifty off. I'm just, I'm struggling to think. I'm struggling to think of anything that sells for that much MSRP that would have lost that much value. The only thing I can think of is the Talisong. When are you going to try the Opus Blade? Soon. Slift T? There's no way you got a Slift T for 140. What up, Lenny? Nemesis? You wouldn't care about a Nemesis. Yeah, I don't know. I got no idea. I'm more curious what you got that retailed for that much that you got for that much of a seal. I'm not telling anyone unless it's guessed. Alpha Beast Rep. Probably some obscure crazy thing. Thinking of sending it off to someone to 3D model. I gotta be honest, I'm having trouble even thinking about anything that, that sells for 300. I really don't think any of us are going to get it, boys. BM51, that, that's a good shout, Kyle. Blade is yucky to me from lack of tip weight, but the handles make it enough for me to want it. Oh, that should tell me so much. Not a hom belly. We talked about this knife, I'm pretty sure. Oh, shit. I'm just filing away ballad songs with low... Low tip weight. When I think of low tip weight, I think of like the Kuno, but obviously you didn't get a Kuno for 140. That would be ridiculous. We talked about this. If you could see my brain right now, it's just going through flashcards of ballast songs with like a thin blade of some sort. It's a US. Oh gosh. What? 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. When you say it's U.S., do you mean it's made in the U.S. or it's sold by a U.S.-based company? Because technically, under that assumption, then it couldn't be... It's made in the U.S. Okay. Atlanta Toxic stuff? I thought you already had one of those, though, so I don't think you would get another one of those. I don't think a slight would lose that much value secondhand, or else I would probably own a slight. If I could get a slight for 140, I would, I'd go for that. His stuff also wasn't made in the US. Okay, I wasn't sure, but I figured I would throw it out there. I'm going to give it, I need to set, I'm going to set a cap on myself here, Pyro, so that we stop annoying you. I'm going to give it two more guesses, and then we'll leave you alone. So I got to make them count. I got to make them count. It's made in the U.S. It's not a slift tee. It doesn't have a lot of blade weight. Or tip weight. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so we're looking at Squid, but Squid doesn't sell anything in that price range. A live blade in that price range, at least. We're looking at Machine-wise, Fellowship, but Fellowship also doesn't sell a live blade in that in that scenario. BRS is a possible. Atropos is possible. Actually, no, Made in US. Atropos is not possible. Uh, Kershaw, I guess, could be possible. Flytanium is possible. Tater Song. <laughs> I got it! Oh, I forgot. I was like, what... I'm looking, I'm literally in my Discord right now, looking at the where to buy, where to buy channel going through the list, and I get to Flytanium, and I'm like, okay, wait, he said that the Talisong was close, but it's also not a Fly 1. What is, what's, what's their lineup look like? And then I remembered, the only possible thing that he thinks would not have enough tip weight, but is also really funny, and would lose that much secondhand value, is a tater song you got a tater song for 140 oh my gosh that's crazy you think i should get an edit if if you want a heavy plastic bow song yeah go for it holy shit pyro it's mint bro Tater songs aren't even worth 140. I think they are. I think the Tater song's worth 140 all day. I don't think it flips bad. Worth. You're talking about like the Kraken, not the. Sorry, not the Kraken. You're talking about like the Arctic or like the. Um, what's the name of that thing? The Barracuda, but with no milling. Like the the Tater song is absolutely worth a 140 price tag. I'm just surprised. I'm surprised you think it doesn't have enough tip weight, Pyro. Because I thought, from what I remember, the Tater Song was wasn't the most neutral, but like it felt fine. I need to make a fork blade for it. That would go so incredibly hard. We got Preeg. Fork blade on the Tater Song handles would be so funny. Did you get a haircut? I did. Should I just make it a th the title at this point? Like, new haircut, who dis? It's incredibly short now.
Yeah, Reblades can be fairly cheap if you get the right person to work on them. You look so much younger. Yeah, that's the problem with whenever I get a haircut is back when I worked as a cashier, every time I got a haircut without fail, the next day that I went to work, I had at least one customer look at me and go, you're not old enough to work here. And I was like, haha, so funny. I've heard that one like 50 times before. Come on through. Just let me fucking check out your shit. Your hair is far too short to be Ethan. You guys obviously weren't around for one of my best Instagram clips that I've ever posted. Wow, I don't even come up when I search myself on Instagram. That's so weird. You guys don't remember the time when my hair just genuinely was this short. You guys don't remember this? This is the style I was going for. This is shorter than that, so it'll grow into this eventually. And then, boom, we'll be back to the glory days. The whole idea was to make it really short so that it would grow out by the time I go back to school. There was, a, there was actually a very long time that my hair was fairly short. Dude, Pyro, I if you if you're looking to scoop up a good deal, I don't know if it's if it's there anymore, but there was a um there was an old Blocks Toys rep for like 20 bucks on the secondhand market and I so nearly bought it. Like I feel like the steel and the titanium from that thing alone would be worth $20. $20 is too much to me. Hey, fair enough. I mean. Fair enough, dude. Sold my block rep for 60. I felt like I scammed him. <laughs> Uh, I just, I'm so curious. I never got to try a block rep. I wanted to really badly. To see if it was really bad with, like, as bad as people were saying. But Ted told me how sharp it was. Like, he got cut just from, like, flipping it. So, that was enough for me. Getting three more cookie click. How, how many cookie clicker achievements are there, James? Six hundred and twenty-two. What the hell? It's like that's like Halo. I played Halo last night. There's seven hundred achievements in the Master Chief Collection. Like, how could you ever do that? How could you ever do that? That's crazy. What up, Scotty? I'm getting Crab Champions right now. I totally foregore until this moment. Pyro, I will play Crab Champions with you the second that you, you call. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that, but... Yeah, don't say that. Okay, like, most of the time, if you ask to play Crab Champions, I will probably be able to make the time. Any excuse that I have to keep playing this game, I will take it. It should tell you guys volumes at how much I enjoy this game, that I completed it. 
I finished the achievements and I still play it. Battlebit is so good though. Battlebit is good. It's just Battlebit is really only good if you have a squad. <laughs> Trying to play Battlebit solo it gets increasingly more miserable as time goes on and like the the newness and excitement of it wears off. You guys want to see something cool? Look at this. The new cycloid, the cycloid HD is channel. I didn't know that. I don't I don't know if that's something that he actually advertised, but I had no idea. Yeah, I didn't know it was channel either. I had zero clue of that interesting factoid. Can you show me what battle bit is? Uh, Google can. It's a very simple Google search. Ooh, there's a new boss in Bloons TD6? I don't know if mobile can do it. You don't know you don't know if your phone has a web browser that you can look up Battlebit on. Some games you can't play mobile with. Bro, I'm not... I'm not telling you to play the game on your phone. I'm just telling you to look it up. I'm just telling you to type it into Google and look at what comes up. Be nice, Kyle. Crab Champions is a much smaller game than I thought. It is. It's only, what, like three gigs or something? Is it channel like the Telesto or the Edit? What? It's channel, brother. Okay. 1.5 gigs? I meant um, I was going to check mine, like how big it actually is when you install it. Because that's, that's probably the download size. But, like, once it's unpacked... Oh, no, it is 1.5 gigabytes. Okay, yeah, that's way smaller than I thought. Glued together or printed together? It's... It, it's, it, it's printed together. It's not, like, there's... It's a solid piece down here, so it's... Being mean is not funny or cool. Disagree. Uh, you should stop. You're being mean to a little kid. I have to say, boys, the younger audience just never helps themselves when they're like, you're being mean to a little kid. It's like, we don't care. If someone's being mean to you, your response should not be, I'm a little kid. That just makes you an easier target. <laughs> Not saying it's okay. It's just 
the worst thing you could possibly say to defend yourself. Aluminum squiddies in August. Can you can you cite your sources, sir? Can you can you hit the site of the sources? Squid post one minute ago. One minute ago? How much money will it be if they're if they were to be uh, if they were to be believed at Blade Show, then oh, it's on it's on Squid Master's account. Oh yeah, in August, okay. If Blade Show was to be believed, these are gonna come in in between a Mako and a Squiddy. So, production just about to start. We'll start putting them together next week. Hopefully, have a batch ready in August. Cool. Prize Squid hasn't learned about giving timelines on their products, but. Cool. Hope it happens. I need an aluminum squiddy in my life. I don't need an aluminum squiddy in my life. I just need it to be a part of the community so I can have something new to recommend people. Although, I don't even... I don't even think people are going to care about the aluminum squiddy because everyone is like, washers, Aah! you know, it's like, who? August, 2024. <laughs> I'm not giving them, I'm not going to give them that much crap, but wait, August is in three days. August is in three days. Okay, wait. I'm. I'm. Mm, I don't know about that. We'll see. Listen, I don't want to. I don't want to like be that guy. But. I'm not a squid fanboy, but I like the aluminum squiddy. I think you're allowed to like squid products without being labeled a squid fanboy. Aluminum squiddy isn't on washers. At no point did anyone say that. It's on, it's on washers. Is an Arctic 2 trainer worth the price? Uh, should I aim for a Prisma or Kraken? Up to you if you like the design. I'm the Arctic shill. I am the Arctic shill, but even I understand that the Arctic isn't going to be for everyone. So, Hell, the Arctic isn't really for me anymore. I, whenever I flip my Arctic, I'm just kind of like, eh. 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 No. Yeah, the Arctic is is incredibly handle biased. Even without the weights in the end of the handles, if you get the custom ones and you just take them out completely, it is still handle bias. So it's you're customizing your level of handle bias. The V2 flips basically exact contrary to what I said in my story at that one point. The V2 flips basically exactly the same as the V1 did. I don't know what was up with that, guys, that I tried a Blade show. I made... Dude, Shesmu... Shesmu is such a... I love Shesmu. I made a Spotify playlist for different lubes. KPL Light, KPL Heavy, FBO, Canto, Carbon Honey, and just lube. 
That's awesome. I want to hear those playlists. Kraken or Prisma Pro can't go wrong unless you like the Kraken, then get the Kraken. That's that that's an interesting way to look at things. Yeah, you can't go wrong with these two, but if you like this one, you should definitely get that one. <laughs> Use Will Hirsch promo as Ethan doesn't have one. No, I do not. It is interesting that Will and Brandon have a uh, a affiliate code for two of the biggest players in the game at this point. I mean, it makes sense. They're the biggest creators in the game at this point that people actually like look to for opinions. That, like non-crazy opinions wink wink nudge nudge <clears throat> cough cough but i wonder how it's affecting their what am i trying to say i'm trying to form you're a closer second than you may think i'm not saying that i i'm not i'm just saying i don't want to be i want to have my little niche who would you be referring to, Ethan? No one. No one. I'm trying to formulate the thought that I was just going to have in my head. It's not you, Pyro. I can tell you that. Can't get opinions from someone who doesn't post. I shouldn't say that. I haven't posted on my main channel in three months. Okay, hypocrite. Okay, no, you. Can I'm not a hypocrite though. I have posted by daily on Blade Bias for over a year now. I am not a hypocrite. What up, gelatin? How you doing? I don't care. Well, you should if you're gonna call me a hypocrite. That's not your personal channel. It literally is now. Blade Bias is literally my channel now. So L plus ratio plus didn't ask plus you fell off. Um, uh, there's something that I just wanted to check. What the fuck was it? Fell off, yeah, he fell off. I still I I'm still really in shock that Blade Bias is still growing at the rate that it is. Like Ty and I thought this was gonna plateau as soon as it passed our main channels. And I'm like, I'm still, I'm at the point where people like legitimately come to me to check out their new products. It's just crazy. Like, what the fuck happened? Why do you people watch me? I don't understand. Why do you give up hours of your precious night to watch me sit in a chair and complain about ballast songs? Blade Bias is the only really consistent ballast song channel. Yes, it is. That is a fact. That is a fact that I would be happy to agree with because it's true. I am the only... I shouldn't say only. There are other channels that are um, that are consistent. But the in terms of the larger creators that uh, influence the larger Balasong community, because it's my hot take to say that Balasong flipping doesn't really influence the Balasong community at large since a majority of people 
that are in the ballet community don't really watch him that often. Like, he, he kind of operates his own little niche in the corner of the hobby. Or maybe I'm just speaking like that because I'm also part of a niche and I only see part of my niche. Like, I'm in the Will Hirsch corner of the Ballasun community, so I don't really know. But I would say that Blade Bias, combined with the fact that it has been consistent uploads for about a year now, is the most active Ballasun channel. Especially since the first, like, the video that I missed on Wednesday is the first video that I missed in a couple months at this point. Any Bally that you don't have but really want not currently except the prisma pro but i'm in possession of a prisma pro otherwise no i don't really have a grail right now i don't really have a, a intense desire to spend money on any more ballast songs my collection is in a place where i have a bunch of different flipping experiences that i enjoy i switch between them regularly and i'm perfectly satisfied with that All the small subgroups of the community are their own mini hells in their own way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, I totally agree. <laughs> there isn't a single sub community in this community. That's a weird sentence. That is like all good. Although it's kind of like there's no community out there that's all good. So. I feel like with the Balasong community, you could make like a political compass. You know the political compass with like, it's like the square and then there's four quadrants. I feel like you could do that for the Balasong community. You've got Will Hirsch, Balasong flipping, the boomers, and then some fourth quadrant that I can't really think of right now, but are there. There's no good subgroup. All of them suck. Every single one is un unenjoyable. I think that's a you problem. I'm having fun over in my little niche corner, so. Having some chatters come in for a discussion would bring grand insights. So the problem, here's the problem with having guests on stream, is this stream is really mostly successful because of chat interaction and the second that you bring other people into the stream then chat interaction goes down drastically so it's a tough balancing act it's like i can't interact with chat as much as i normally do if i have someone else to talk to granted it's probably better content for you guys but i don't know It is entirely a me problem. I respect that you are willing to admit that. But I kind of I kind of agree with you, Pyro. Like there isn't really a group that I'm like completely like, "Hey, this is a good group." You know, all of them have their problems that are big enough to be like not w make me want to interact with them as constantly as I would otherwise. So I see I see what you're saying for sure. Bimby! What up, Bimby? How you doing? Just popped up in my recommendations. <laughs> oh, boy. I hate to cast judgment already on you, Funkless, but anyone whose first message in my chat is this just popped up in my recommendations and I don't know why, generally it goes poorly. They all have their own toxicity. No, they absolutely do. They absolutely do. The last one was funny. Yeah, it was funny, but it wasn't like a good experience. I'm a good random, no worries. 
cool. Welcome to our little corner of the internet. We talk about ballast songs here. Butterfly knives. The funny knife from CSGO that go... You know, like those? Yeah. It was an awesome experience, Ethan. I mean, yeah, it was, but like... When the person starts saying slurs, it's it's not awesome, you know? You don't need to understand what's going on. I don't. That's the thing. I've become increasingly more aware of the fact that people... I think it's the reason that I've been struggling to make content lately. Because I have been really struggling to make Blade Bias videos lately. But... I've become more and more aware of the fact that people use their valuable time of which they don't have that much to watch me. And that idea is deeply, deeply unsettling to me. Should I have woken up at 1 p.m. today or keep the two new brand new Ballasong products we've been testing? Or do a backflip with no legs? Or do a leg flip with no back? Oh my gosh, that's too many options, Brandon. I'm gonna fucking implode. You, the, you gotta keep it to the two, the normal two. Brandon, did I ruin your sleep schedule? You underestimate the amount of time that I have? No, not a single person in this chat has a lot of time. Because you know what? We have a hundred years, give or take, on this earth. And that is not a lot. That is not a lot. You did nothing. It was a result of my own decisions. Okay, fine. Did we... Did... Uh, fine. I'll, I'll phrase it how you want me to. Did you ruin your sleep schedule last night, Brandon? 100 years, I'm American. Calm down. That's why I said give or take. Not everyone in this chat's American. Some of them are going to live longer than us. It's okay. I'm just, it's just a deeply unsettling thought. I don't know why. I'm getting back to the point, like when I first, when people first caught wind of my videos, I became very like self-conscious that people were using their time to watch me. And then I like, then I like became used to it. But now I'm going back to a point where I'm like, Really, the, the, the reality of what I do is setting in. Especially since the majority of my content that I've been putting out lately has been 10-minute videos of absolutely fuck all nothing. <laughs> of nothing that adds value to this world. So it, it's just like... It's been a little a little unsettling. You're Irish. There you go. Do you have any nice, normal pocket knives? I actually do, yes. Um, I can get them for you, I think. Here, I'll give you my... Uh... I'll give you the pocket knife rundown. So this is my first ever pocket knife. My first dedicated pocket knife. Pocket knife. Spyderco Tenacious with carbon fiber scales. Overall, fine knife. Very sharp. It's got the, uh, the little ridges area. I forget. What is it called? Fucking. There's a word for it. Why can't I think of it? Serrated. It's got the serrated area right here to help you cut through stuff. Really nice. Really sharp, uh, a pretty good liner lock, even though I fucking hate liner locks on pocket knives. I think it's a dog shit locking mechanism, um, but just like a cheap kind of budget thing. Otherwise, pretty good. Next up, uh, I got I was given the next two by Zenith Flips on Instagram. This is the CRB or CJRB. What was the name of this thing? I know the name of it. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. ZJRB uh, button lock. 
Feldspar. Was it the Feldspar? Yes, the Feldspar. This is an exclusive from White White Mountain Knives. It's called the Feldspar with the Makarta handle, whatever. Button lock. I love button lock. Button lock is my favorite because it's just easy and nice. And this is what I carry for the most part because it's small, it looks nice, and the button lock mechanism is just the best. Also from Zenith, I have this. This is the Civivi. Um, Elementum, I want to say. What was the name of this bad boy? No, it wasn't the Elementum. It was. Give me just a second. I'll be able to find it. Give me a second. I will. I'll be able to find it. You just gotta scroll through knife. Just gotta scroll through Blade HQ for long enough. Fuck. I looked up the names for both of these before, but I just I just don't remember what they are. Whatever. I can't find it. I'll just show you guys. Uh, it's a Damascus liner lock from Civivi. Carbon fiber scales. Well, not even carbon fiber scales, just like carbon fiber pattern scales. Really nice um, liner lock, though, which is kind of eh. But, you know, I love my Damascus knives. They're great. And it's got a really nice um, flick out like that. Feels pretty good. And then finally, this one was given to me by my dad. I don't know much about it, but it is just a really old... It says it's from Japan. It's just a really old pocket knife. And it's just like, it's got that like old charm to it. So it's barely sharp, but it's in my collection because it's cool. That's my, that's my pocket knife. <laughs> Civivi Ortis. That sounds familiar. Yeah, it's the Ortis. Damascus version of the Ortis. In fact, there it is. Pound for pound right there. So those are pretty cool. Shout out to Zenith. For, for basically giving those to me for my birthday, I'm pretty sure is what it was supposed to be. Yeah, the HD is really good, Kanto. I join and we're talking standard folders. Someone asked me if I had standard folders. I had to give them the full the full tour, you know? Yeah, button lock, button lock is the way to go, for sure. It's just easy, it's simple, it's nice, it's clean. It's the best, in my opinion. I hate liner lock. You feel like chaplains are inconsistent in the Cycloid HD? Yes, the chaplains are very vault-like. Even with all the weights in the end of the handles, they still feel pretty vault-like. So that is my biggest complaint with the Cycloid HD. But otherwise, I agree with pretty much everything you said, Brandon. It feels premium. It feels like it's more most premium product. Although although it still pinches. People are like, no, the, the zippy stuff never pinches. It's like this thing pinches me all the time. Whoopsies. But yeah, yeah, very inconsistent chaplains on the cycloid hd which is a little annoying but 
Imagine a dramatically changed version of the vault that chaplained any way better than it was supposed or than it originally did. You just, I'm just, I'm surprised at the. <laughs> yeah, a little, little wink, wink, nudge, nudge there. I'm surprised by that. Just casually leaking a really cool thing. Imagine? Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Ethan, you should grow out your hair. <laughs> oh, Kanto, never change, never change. An upgraded version, like, uh, let's, let's just say, let's just take your thought experiment at face value. Um, definitely would never happen and isn't in my hand. <laughs> Brandon, you are the leakiest faucet that I have ever seen. Oh my god. I've misled too many people to their demise. It's time to make a change and help people. This isn't a buzz cut. This was my choice. Okay, it clear no, you're right. It clearly doesn't exist. But let's take Brandon at face value and like just imagine like an upgraded vault the chaplain better. How cool would that be? That would be really cool. Like to be completely fair. Cuz the biggest problem with the vault is that it doesn't grow with you. It doesn't it's not something that changes and gets better as you get better, you know? But like if they were to change that and make like a like a second like better version it'd be pretty cool you know i'm completely con content to leak incredibly vague details about a potential new product to 14 people on a stream 14's a lot brandon okay Not a buzz cut. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Even if you said it was bad, Kanto, I wouldn't care. I'm so past caring what people think about my haircut on the internet. Much less, much less on the internet. I'm past caring what people think of my hair in general. Much less on the internet. If you grew out your hair, the slimesicle allegations might go away. I don't want the slimesicle allegations to go. What if I secretly like the slimesicle allegations because I like slimesicle Charlie as a content creator and look up to him as a comedic uh, pedestal that I wish I could be as funny as. There's this one guy that uses... That looks like your double ganger. Double ganger? Doppelganger. I'm stupid. Um, yeah, my friends in college always make the joke that any white guy with brown hair and glasses looks like me because I'm the most basic bitch out there. So I have a lot of doppelgangers. I'm sure James is in chat and he's going to be like, yeah, that's so true. That's so true, man. We do do that. White guy with brown hair and glasses gang. Bro, we could be Minecraft YouTubers. <laughs> slimesicle is the most one-to-one. -one. Okay, now that the hair is cut, I don't think the slimesicle allegations... I think I can beat the slimesicle allegations with the haircut. I don't think I could before. I think before it was, it was, it was a pretty close like match especially because you know charlie and i are both incredibly ripped people but now i think i can beat the allegations i got compared to dream back in school didn't he just reveal his face like a year ago not even
So when you say back in school, you mean like like last year. Okay. I have a problem. I just looked I just looked back at the upcoming drop page as if it was going to change. It's like I'm going to the fridge and like opening the door and closing it and then opening the door again to see if anything's changed and then closing it and then opening the door again to see if anything's changed. My friends were like, holy shit, it's glasses. Do you also just have like the superb jawline that Dream just couldn't stop showing off in that video? That everyone was memeing about because the whole video he was like, he was like this. My sister loves your haircut. Thanks, that one guy's sister. <laughs> He's literally the troll face. <laughs> he, that's new machine wise website. Oh, new machine wise website is crazy better. Are you kidding me? He's actually got upcoming drops with pictures. He's actually got info on like everything in his lineup. I also, I always forget that he has this. Um, a hint to those who find themselves on this page. The Prisma Pro handles with a Slift TV2 or Seraplade may be our best flipping offering. Seriously? Now I got to try a Seraplade on the Prisma. What up, Valxy? Do you guys... Could I pass as a Minecraft YouTuber? Like, I've never... I've never felt like I was... I was Minecraft YouTuber material. Because Minecraft YouTubers are... Are... You got brown hair, glasses, white, obviously. But, like, they have a charm of, about them. Something that makes... I'm gonna censor myself and not say that sentence. Because I feel like that... Yeah... Yeah, I'm not going to go down that road. I was going to say something that makes teenage girls flock to them, but that just sounds really weird out of context. Just put your Slift T blade on it. That's what I'm that's what I'm going to do. You have the awkward charm. You still said it. Yeah, but I didn't say it in a way that could be. Never mind. It's like awkward funny. I'm not funny. You can't say that. I'm not even being I'm not even being self-deprecating. I'm just not funny. I am so much funnier offline. I will say that for free. Oh, you said Seraph? Did I? I meant Slift T. Whatever. So you guys really think that I could just hit him with the... I could just hit him with the... Oh, shit. Hold on. You guys really think I could just hit him with this and no one would ever notice? Canto group oil valve index stream moment disagrees with you. Okay, because that is objectively the funniest thing I've ever done. Because that is legitimately my magnum opus of comedy. Wesley, thank you for the subscription. If you're even here, because, you know, it's probably just someone who subscribed when they were watching my video. Uh, 
Are you a camera? Because you make me smile. I think it's supposed to be because you make me smile when I look at you. You make me want to smile when I look at you. I think that's the actual Riz line. But good one. Good one. I'm sure that works on all the ladies. Is that new? What is what is is that new? Is is the alert new? The thing that just popped up, is that new? Because no, it isn't. It's been there the entire time I've ever streamed. It just... So, the way YouTube works, it's a leftover from when I... It's, it's literally just a leftover from when I streamed on Twitch. Uh, that I forgot that I had for the longest time. Uh, and then when I realized I had it, I changed it because on Twitch it was a different sound and effect and all that. But the only reason I still have it, I don't even know why I still have it actually, because the problem with YouTube is that not only does, when people subscribe, most of the time it doesn't tell me because your subscriptions have to be public in order for that to pop up. But also the problem is usually you're like, oh, you want to thank people that subscribe when they're watching you on YouTube. But the problem is, it counts people who don't subscribe from this stream. So, someone could be watching my Blade Show video right now, and they're like, Oh, hey, I like this guy. I'm going to subscribe. And it pops up on my stream, even though they don't know that I'm streaming. So, half the time it pops up, the person isn't even here. So, there's no point. I don't even know why it's still on. <laughs> I should just turn it off. Yeah, public subs have to be enabled. Why don't you stream on Twitch? I used to stream on Twitch, but Twitch is not where my audience is. YouTube is where my audience is. If I were to stream on Twitch, my audience wouldn't follow me. And I've I've done multiple polls throughout the day. People just prefer watching me on YouTube anyway, so. Like, I can sh here's this poll right here. Special interest in gaming content on stream, uh, YouTube or Twitch. 57 to 3 is a, it's a pretty, it, it paints a picture, you know? It tells me exactly what my audience wants, and my audience does not want me to stream on Twitch. I used to stream on Twitch, though. My Twitch channel exists. What is Canto Oil Steam Valve Index? Canto Oil Stream Valve Index? Uh, Canto Oil Valve Index is this clip. You literally have watched this clip before. That's Canto Oil Valve Index. Also, <laughs> the amount of people... I posted this dumbass meme. And it got... This fucking video got so many likes. People usually... Like, I have a group of people that usually like the stories that I post. But this thing had just... It was just scroll, scroll, scroll. I don't know. So many people love this stick bug meme. And I didn't expect that. Because I love the stick bug meme, and I'm so glad that it's back in some way. I was, It did my heart so well to see a stick bug meme again. So I reposted it, and apparently everyone else also loves stick bug. Which is great, because like, you know. Um, I do want to, actually, I do have another meme that I want to show you guys. This isn't where I'm going to take you guys to the land formerly known as Twitter. Have you tried putting your Prisma handle on the Prisma Pro? What does that even mean? It's this. It'd be the same thing.
I just wanted to show you guys this video. Someone posted this on Twitter and they said, this is what I would do to the new Twitter logo. This like, can I make this little change? It's so funny. I think the, if you will allow me to rant about this for just like a minute, the fact that Elon Musk is so brain dead at this point that he willingly gave up one of the most recognizable brands possibly of our time. Do you know how many, like how much money smaller companies would pay to have the brand recognition that Twitter does? To, to be able to have their logo seen by anyone and immediately know what it is. And then for Elon Musk to throw all of that away, sacrifice billions of dollars of market value um, or of, of brand value just for the for some like pipe dream that he has for some super app in the future that's probably never even going to exist is the craziest thing that I have ever done or I've ever seen. It's, it's, it's insane that someone that used to be like someone used to, who used to be revered for his business intellect pulled something that stupid. It's crazy. I refuse to even believe it. He made Twitter into something that most people associate with a porn site. Good job, idiot. Yeah, careful to not look up. <laughs> careful to not look up videos with the new Twitter name. I'm basically like, I will never call Twitter X. I will always call it Twitter. I'm sorry. I do not care. It will always be Twitter to me. I'm not calling it X. X is the most bland, boring. It's like it's like HBO rebranding to Max. It's like, where, where'd the personality go? You gave up all that was special about your business, and it's just this bland, boring name now that doesn't even make sense. Oh yeah, what do you call what do you call tweets now? An X. Hey guys, check out this X that I just found. What the fuck does that even mean? What up, Beaver? Yeah, every single decision he's done with Twitter has been stupid. That much is clear. But this is by far the dumbest. It's by far the dumbest. But the thing is, Threads is also dead. Like, Threads died, like, after a week. So now, where am I going to post my stupid thoughts to an infinite void? I can't. It doesn't, I don't have a good place to do it anymore. It sucks. The only reason I ever used Twitter was to follow gaming news from gaming developers that I followed on Twitter because I didn't want to follow them anywhere else. And to post my thoughts into an infinite void because I had no followers and no one ever saw them. And I, there was some comfort in that. It was like, it was like writing a note. I've described, I think I described this on stream before. It's like writing a note to your ex and then not sending it. Close friend story on Instagram is still a good shit post alternative. The thing is, I like the idea that people could see it. Like, I like the feeling that if someone f found my Twitter, they could go back and see these tweets, which you don't really get with with Instagram close story, close friend story. I'm not going to mix the Prisma 1 and the Prisma Pro handles together. That would be awful. That would be awful.
Gosh, I really, I really do want to sell my Cycloid V2 now to get one of these. What up, BPS? Uh, would people sell this lift T blade? Maybe, maybe if you found someone who converted theirs to a trainer. But don't go around, like guys, don't go around asking people who own something that you want if they would sell it. I had a guy message me on Instagram this morning. And he was like, yo, what would you offer me for a Slift T blade on Prisma Pro handles? And I was like, nothing. And he was like, really? Cause like I watched your video and like I figured you would want it. And I was like, no, I'm good, man. Thanks though. People who come up with unsolicited business offers for your ballast songs are so annoying. It's a big pet peeve right there. That's what I want to do. Don't do that. Put out. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go. You're going to post a story. You're going to say ISO Slift T-Blade. And then you're going to at Balasong. Um, at Balasong Market or whatever. What is it again? Yeah, at Balasong Market, just say ISO Slift T-Blade. And then if they repost it, then there you go. People will message you if they have a Slift T-Blade. Do not go around asking people who own a Slift T if, they would buy, if you would buy their blade. No way. And like, don't, don't get me wrong. I don't want to like, like I've, I've had people before message me that are, that are like, um, like when I said I wanted to own a 50, I had someone message me and they were like, Hey man, I have a 50. If you wanted to trade for it, like I'd take some offers on it. Like if you're, you, you can be nice about it, but going up to someone and just saying, Hey, I have this, what would you offer for it? Is just like, it's so weird. I can't really explain why it's weird, but it's weird. What up, Phantom? That's a Cycloid HD. Zippy's best product by far. I am I am really really enjoying it. In fact, I'm going to send Zippy uh Uh, I didn't want to do that. I just meant the thing that he offered you. Oh, you want a Prisma Pro with a Slift T-Blade? Uh, maybe I... Did I even keep the message? Probably just deleted the message. Oh, no. They have a private profile. I also don't want to say them because I just... I just publicly complained about something that they did to me and I don't want to just like say their profile. New favorite plastic ballet for you? It could be, but right now I don't think it is. It very well could be.
What's your favorite mismatch color combo? Um, probably blue and green. Teal and green, I should say. If not teal and green, then I'm also a big fan of white and blue. White and blue is pretty good, like the Akuma that I got. Sorry. Um, purple and silver is good. But yeah, green and teal is probably my favorite. Green and teal or green and black? I like green and black. Wonder how it would sound with some bearing oil. I would love to tell you, but there was a note, because this is a pass around, this isn't mine. There was a note specifically in there that said don't lubricate it, so... Uh, I misunderstood in the Arctic vid. In what Arctic vid? I mean, there was a time when I enjoyed orange and blue the best, but those days are behind me. I actually... A oh, very little tap on that. That's crazy. Wish there was a white version. I would agree, but it would also get really dirty very quickly because it's a more, it's like a fabric-y material. I also just realized, how do you guys feel about the fact that Blade Bias videos have been getting longer and longer lately? I'm only just now realizing that a lot of the videos are over 10 minutes now and that never used to be the case. What's the difference between the HD and the OG? Uh, about 0.3 ounces of weight. The original is made out of whatever plastic Zippy normally uses. I, for, I think it's PETG he normally uses. Um, and this is made out of glass-filled nylon, which is far more durable and denser. So this is 2.8 ounces approximately, and the V2 is 2.5 approximately. Watching two streams at a time. Damn glasses. I don't always finish them. Uh, that's, I mean, that's fair. I can understand that. Should I get the Mako or the Boker plus G10? I don't even know what the Boker plus G10 is, brother. I'm really tempted, man, I'm really tempted to get, Shokin is selling the Moondrop Blessing 2 Dusks, I'm really tempted to buy those off of him. I watch Summoning Salt religiously. Okay, comparing Blade Bias to Summoning Salt is a crazy compare. I get what you're going for, but Summoning Salt also has like incredible storytelling and editing and all of this other stuff that makes him interesting. Whereas Blade Bias is literally just a dumbass talking for 10 minutes. I want to try a pinsless Bally, but I can't justify spending the ridiculous prices for an original. 
Um, what are you so interested in about the... What's a good hundred or other under Bala song? Uh, the Vault. The Marbles. Own All Adax. Orion. Etc. Man, I'm really tempted to buy those fucking Blessing 2s. Fuck. Fuck! Is it bad that I've been flipping Amazon Bally's my whole life? No, it's not bad. You're just missing out on quite a bit of higher quality Bally songs out that are out there. Want to try a pinsless belly? Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Uh, specifically, the Monarch has a flat zen area, so that's what I want. What do you mean? What are what are you interested in? Like, what are you... Because I can tell you that pinsless doesn't feel any different than zen pins. It's basically the same. Maybe serious tomorrow? What? What? I'm confused. I'm a little bit uh confused. I can't lie. You ever watch chess tourneys? The only chess tourney I've ever watched is PogChamps because PogChamps is much more accessible to someone who's not a chess freak. I've played chess. I think I'm okay at chess. I beat Will in chess once, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I am not a chess freak. I don't understand all the little tiny things and like actual chess tourneys. I just can't get into multitasking with the LUD stream? Wait, is LUD playing chess right now? I didn't even get a notification that LUD was live. Oh, it is. Huge drama plus new merch. Has reacting gone too far? He was just going over the next PogChamps tournament? Hmm. I mean, LUD is the reason I... No, LUD is not the reason that I got into chess. I watched... I played chess before I got into LUD. Started playing chess basically like the month that COVID lockdown happened. So March of 2020. And I didn't start watching Ludwig until the Among Us boom later that year. Right? The Among Us boom was in 2020, right? Or was it in 2021? Oh, no. The timeline in my head is all messed up right now. When was Among Us? When did Among Us first become popular? I'm sure I can just go on to Steam charts. No, I know I know Among Us was in the summer. There's 6,000 people playing Among Us right now. Wait, what? There's no way. Yeah, Among Us started to become popular in summer of 2020. So I started watching LUD probably in July. So yeah, I definitely didn't get into Among Us after 
after Lud. Or, or I didn't, sorry, I didn't get into chess because of Lud. I don't remember how I got into chess. I think I was just interested in it. My dad has always been someone who, like, I'd play chess with my dad. Like, on vacations, if they had those, like, you know those giant chess boards where the pieces are, like, this tall? Those are my favorite. That's way lower than you thought? Dude, I thought there were only, like, gonna be a couple hundred playing among us right now anyway. Or, max. I cannot believe there's still 6,000 people playing that game. Crab Champions only has a thousand at any point, I'm pretty sure. If I go on to Steam DB. Dad told me that he thought spending 175 on a battle song was crazy. I showed him yours and Will's vids. He still isn't convinced. Well, that's because you showed him my videos. That was probably your biggest mistake. Um, but no, you just like everyone has their hobby that they spend a ridiculous amount of money on. For me, it's ballast songs and earbuds. Um, for some people, for some other people, it's going to be freaking keyboards. I, I saw a video the other day of an $800 keyboard. Where the hell are people spending $800 on a keyboard? What the hell? Hey, what up, horse? Appreciate the like, and I hope your work day uh, goes well. Uh, oh, yeah, Crab Champions. Yeah, Crab Champions currently has a 1,000 people online, which is, like, so much less than this game deserves. I mean, it's a lot, don't get me wrong, but the fact that it peaked just about at where Among Us gets, like, monthly is crazy. I really, I like how you can vividly see exactly when a big streamer started playing uh, Crab Champions. That's really funny. How is the Crab Champion scene on Twitch? That's a great question, actually. There's, only, there's less than 100 people watching. And it's listed as a driving slash racing game. That's crazy. Holy shit. I wonder, is there anyone going for 100%? Can we complete the nightmare? No. Three crab seeking the championship? No. Man, no one going for a hundred percent. I was gonna say, let's, let's. Welcome back, Banks. What's the game that changed your outlook on gaming? There's so many different games. There's so many different games. Um that changed my outlook on gaming in far like different ways. For example, Crab Champions changed my outlook on AAA games because here we have this solo developer that made a game that was more complete, more finished, more content rich than any AAA game that's come out this year. Um, besides Tears of the Kingdom, but Nintendo is always the exception to the rule. Uh, but then there's also like games like minecraft which again was a small indie company that became one of the best-selling games of all time um you have games like tears of the kingdom and spider-man which single-handedly sort of restored my faith in the triple hand triple a developer space overwatch which basically killed my excitement for gaming for like a month straight there's there's so many games i could answer that question to I'm at the one dude's hollow. You're at you're at Qualux Hollow, the big frog. We love big frog. What up, Junior? 
Have you ever tried turbo over? No, I have never tried that. I don't know what that is. I do not know what that is. I wonder if Mr. Jack Pyro is playing Crab Champions right now. Wait, Pyro. I don't have. I don't have Pyro on Steam. I wonder if we can find Pyro Steam. Oh, he's here. Hi, Pyro. What's your Steam? So I can add you. It's pyro with a period. You know, I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed that one. I have... I have like a scratch on my nose or something. Oh god, finding Pyro is going to be way harder than I thought because all of the... Yeah, there's 40,000 accounts called Pyro. Take the code? I don't know the code. What's your profile picture? Is it just like your normal, like, current profile picture with a mask? You put the code? You did not put the code. I don't see the code. Oh, on Discord. Oh, you did post it in chat. It definitely it didn't show up in chat. I don't know why YouTube blocked that, but they must have blocked it. That one guy, I am not going to say something that someone tells me to say. Because the first thing that my brain jumps to when someone tells me to say something is that they're trying to bait me into saying something that they can take out of context. Oh my god, oh my god, I think I'm friends with Pyro now. That's so ha Big happy. Big happy. I love that guy. Ow. I just hit my earbud with my with my bell song and it it was very loud. Is the Nabali's Morse good? Yes. Take that with a grain of salt. It's been at least a year since I have tried one, but I remember really liking it. Oh my god, it's Pyro. Oh my god, there he is. He sent he sent a black square. Thank you, Pyro. I will always cherish your messages. Hello again, Brandon. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, 69 420. Nice. Is there a way to change the color of the cycloid HD? No, I don't believe so. Zippy actually does have like a fade going on. You can see it goes from like clear to black at the end there. Which is pretty cool, but I'm not sure how he did that. And I'm also not sure if you can change the color otherwise. I wish there was because I would like in a perfect world, I would sell my Cycloid V2 and then just remake it in an HD with the gray handle and everything. But can't do that that's unfortunate whatever gg go next opinions on flipping in public it's fine as long as you're in a place that it isn't um illegal 
and also as long as you're flipping responsibly. Glow in the dark zippy stuff can all be dyed the same way as G10 boil RIT dye. All right, thanks for the info. I didn't know that actually. Phantom, you can get a gray blade, which would help quite a bit with making it a public flipper. But I also think getting a vibrant color as this inlay would help a lot as well. Why do you think it took someone so long to make steel washers? Um, I think actually what people don't know is that steel washers have existed before. You should join the Balasong Community Discord channel and judge. What? I'm already in the Balasong Community Discord, and I would never be a judge because I think the judging situation there is the most cringe thing in this entire community. But trust me, I am already in that server. I just asked them. Once people found out that I was in that server, they gave me all the funny roles that make people realize that I'm there, and I told them to take those away. So I'm literally just a basic ass account. But the Balasong Community Discord is one of the most toxic places in this community, especially because of the judging role. So I would never judge other people's flipping. I'm not good enough to be a judge in the first place. Surprised it was never that big of a mainstay. I think no one was really thinking about it. I think most people were just like, oh yeah, phosphorus bronze makes sense because the phosphorus bronze is the thing that's going to, to be disposable. It's the thing that's softer. The bushing is going to carve the channel into it. It's great, whatever. If you have steel, then I think people initially think, okay, it's going to ruin my bushing. It's going to ruin my blade. It's going to ruin my handles, etc. It's no longer the softest thing in there, so it's going to damage everything around it which isn't really the case because washers shouldn't move in a perfect system, but. Flipping is too subjective to judge. Absolutely. Especially since you go through all of the posts. Like I look at the posts sometimes and I see someone flipping and they're they're flipping really well and it's like oh yeah you're a pretty good flipper and then you scroll down to the judge and they're like uh you pause for half a second at this one specific spot so like you suck and you're a beginner and it's like that's so fucking cringe dude this dude's a good flipper I understand it doesn't live up to your perfectionist ways but like can we stop being a fucking elitist circle jerk Is Dalen a millionaire because of the pure amount of ballast songs that he has sold? You must not... You... No. Just because someone sells a lot of something does not mean they have a lot of money. Because as Brandon just pointed out, you, re, you should be reinvesting into your business. Which Dalen has. His shop is full of machines and materials and new tools and new processes and R&D costs and all of this stuff. Is he one of the more successful makers in the community? Most likely, yes. But is he a millionaire? No. No, stainless steel washers don't damage everything. Um, it's just, I'm saying that people probably think that they do, hence why we haven't seen stainless steel washers up to this point. Dalen has put an extensive amount of testing into stainless steel washers, so I think uh, you'll be fine, Abe.
yeah, it's the 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 judging channel in the Balasong community Discord is full of ego. It's crazy. Especially because they are so fucking oh my god, they're so picky. Like I'll if I were to submit a clip there, which I never have, people in that server claim that I submitted a clip there and then like started raging when I didn't get the thing that I want. I don't give a shit what people think of my flipping, so I would never submit a clip in there. But if I were, and I don't think I'm a bad flipper by any means, if I were to post in there, they would probably give me beginner. I think I'm pretty confident in saying that that's probably what they would give me. They'd be like, uh, kind of repetitive tricks, not great flow. Uh, your trick, you need to learn harder tricks to become better. Like, shut the fuck up. I don't care. I know you don't care, but I like your flipping style. I, I appreciate it if someone, like compliments my flipping style that's not what i'm trying to get at i'm just saying if someone doesn't like my flipping style i don't care flipping style is extremely smooth i wouldn't call it extremely smooth it's a bit fast and jerky um, but that's kind of how I like it. I like flipping fast. I like flipping in a, maybe not the flowiest way. That's just kind of how I do it. That's why I didn't like the Akuma very much. The Akuma is a flowy ballad song. I don't really like flowy. How good is Will Hirsch on a scale of one to 10? Uh, one being a complete noob and 10 being the best flipper I've ever seen in my life. He's like a six. I'd put myself as a four, so he's better than me. Five is average, remember. Here's what I'll say. I'd give him a six based on the flipping that he does in Will Hirsch flips and on his YouTube channel, uh, on his like in his main reviews. But the flipping that I've seen him do in real life is easily 6.57. He flips better in real life and in some clips that he's posted for like tournaments, he's flipped really, really well. Um, but he is far better than me. I would put myself as ever so slightly below average in terms of flipping skill. He does easier stuff because he needs to be consistent while shooting B-roll, exactly. Same thing with like me on Blade Bias. You have to do something consistent so that you can either talk, in Blade Bias's case, or in this case of shooting bead roll, you're not going to drop it. You have to do something that you know inside and out. But the problem is, I don't flip better off camera. I flip mostly the same off camera. Hence why I would give myself ever so slightly below average. Because what you see in my videos is what you get. You're given 1k to spend on valleys. How would you spend it? Um, I'd get a bunch of mid valleys. So assuming, let's say I don't have my current collection. Let's say I just, none of my current collection exists. You give me $1,000 to spend. First two purchases, Slifty and Kraken. And that puts me at about 700 spent. So then the final one, I would then split up the final 300 into a Prisma Pro. And then probably a different trainer that's a little more fun. Like a BB Barfly product. Probably. Or a Vulp and a Marbles. Or a Vulp, Edit Light, and Calico. Oh, I forgot about plastic. Oh, shit. That's a tough question, actually. How would you spend it with your current collection in mind? If I had $1,000 to spend on Ballast Songs, I would buy things that I've wanted to make videos about for a while. So Prisma Pro, Cycloid HD. Actually, no. Scratch that. $1,000 to spend with my current collection in mind. What would I add to my collection 
probably a handmade knife of some sort. Icarus on there. The Icarus fills the same role to me as a Kraken. A fairly standard um, aluminum balisong. And for what I would be looking for in a making a new collection, I wouldn't be looking... I'd be looking for the Kraken over the Icarus. Go crazy, get an Orca. I would never get a... I wouldn't spend a thousand on a JK product. I would get something handmade from like Stitch. Like a custom alien for like 850. 950, whatever. Boom. That's what I want in my collection. I want something that's like uniquely handmade by someone. It's the only niche I feel like I'm missing in my collection. An Idolo? That's a good one, but I only have a thousand to spend in this hypothetical scenario, and Idolos are way more expensive as far as I'm aware. What about the Paradigm? A base paradigm for a thousand? Yeah, that would be a good that'd be a good shout. Hand forged or hand machined? Something like like what Stitch does. Made by him. Not CNC'd or anything like that. I want something that someone poured their heart and soul into and made this like handmade product. Because that's the again, that's the one thing I'm missing in my collection. I all of my Bala songs are, like, production. The coolest, most custom thing I have is the Damascus Kraken. And even that would still be considered, like, a mass-produced knife. Yeah, there were some really good deals in the Machine-Wise thing today, Phantom. What are your opinions on Balasong Flipping's channel? I don't get why he gets such hate in the community. Well, then I don't even care to explain to you why he gets hate in the community. If you enjoy him, you enjoy him, brother. I'm not trying to ruin a YouTuber that you enjoy watching. Or even tell you that you shouldn't enjoy watching him. Dream Valley would be a titanium trainer of sorts. My my absolute grail Dream Valley would be a battle song that I made myself. That I modeled and then either hand machined or like made a program for the CNC machine to run. Where I was personally involved in the manufacturing of the whole thing. Does Stitch forge his blades though? I'm fairly certain he does. I don't know Stitch's operation inside and out, but pretty sure. Please tell me. I would love to hear your opinion. Balasong Flipping is an incredibly toxic and immature person to have the position that he does in the Balasong community. As one of the highest subscriber counts, he is looked to as sort of the face of the Balasong community. And I think someone who promotes clones and promotes not spending money on makers who are working their heart and soul out and supporting the community is not a good place for someone with his level of subscribers to be doing not even to mention the amount of controversies that he's been in in terms of selling knives that he's been given selling prototypes that he's been given that never were supposed to be sold before they even were released um faking giveaways being incredibly toxic to his fan base that cares so much about him for no apparent reason. Um, <sighs> claiming trainers are objectively better than live blades, with which anyone with half a, bla a brain would say that there's no benefit to a live blade or a trainer. They're both perfectly fine, equal. You shouldn't judge someone for using either of those. Plenty more. There's plenty more. He's a... Uh... The more that I've learned about Balasong flipping, though, behind the scenes, the less that I even care to talk about him. 
There are a lot of things that I have learned that lead me to believe that he doesn't really care about this hobby. Have you met him personally? No, he, he doesn't go to any... Uh, but you know, he doesn't, he doesn't get, he doesn't go to, uh, any of the community stuff. He's like Brandon said, he's very, very distant. And again, I've, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that I've heard about that just make me realize just how distant he is from the Valley community. What's the best Bally you've ever flipped and why is it the Cygnus? It is not the Cygnus. It is not even close. Um, the best Bally I've ever flipped is probably... Probably either the Nami or the Seraph, honestly. In terms of just looking at the flipping performance alone. As far as overall package, my favorite Bally song out there is probably... Probably, it probably would be the Paradigm, but I never tried a Paradigm. Have you tried a Seraph Trainer? I have. It's like 95% of what the Live Blade is. It felt, it didn't feel exactly the same, but it felt similar enough. Meeting him in person would be a completely different Brandon. I totally, I think there's a lot of people in this community that as soon as you um, meet them in real life, they just are a completely different person. Specifically, most of the more toxic people in the community, as soon as you were to see them in person, I feel like they would crumple. As long as they have a screen to hide behind, they're perfectly capable of spewing hate and being the toxic person that they are. But as soon as that screen is gone, it just disappears, which is why I try to be like, I don't really talk a big game. I mean, I do sometimes, but I'm perfectly willing to back it up in real life. If you see me in person, I'm not going to be some meek person who's not going to like, <laughs> I'm going to be totally different in person because I'm scared because I don't have the screen to hide behind. Have a good one, Kermy. Alien better than Paradigm IMO. The only alien I've ever tried was Will's, and because Will likes handle bias, it was just way too handle bias for me. But it was, it was still a good experience. Like, I still liked it. What's the 5%? The 5% that's different is just that it feels different. The trainer blade does not have the same distribution and balance profile that the actual serif blade does, so there is a difference in how it flips. For example, the serif blade is not very tip-weighted, whereas the trainer blade is. The trainer blade is far more similar to an opus blade than it is to a serif blade. Dalen doesn't have a trainer blade that, that has the same kind of balance that the serif blade does. A good or bad 5% loss, it's just different. It's not better, it's not worse, it's just different. I didn't spend enough time with the Seraph Trainer to tell you if it's better or worse. It's just different. You are you are not gonna be able to buy a machine wise balisong right now that is bad. I will stand behind that statement. I don't think there is a single machine-wise product out there that you would be radically disappointed by. Yeah, it's made to replicate the feeling of the Marin Blade. In fact, according to Dalen, it has the same exact balance profile as the Marin Blade, 
which is closer to the opus than the uh, serif. I mean, you can see it. Look at look at the difference between these two. This has far more tip weight because this comes to a, a smaller point quicker, whereas this has a very wide base right here. Granted, it does taper off quicker, but at the end of the day, there's more material here than there is here. 6T. I said anything that you can currently buy. I don't deny that people would be disappointed by like a 5T or a 6T or some of Dalen's older stuff because it's not for everyone. But anything that you can currently buy, you will not be disappointed by. Again, we're talking about radical disappointment. We're talking about I just wasted my money kind of disappointment. What if I asked Dalen to sell me the first thing he's ever made for like a thousand? He probably wouldn't. A lot of makers like to keep that stuff uh, to remember. Like that's a building something like that is is more valuable than any of the money that he could get for it. What I am interested in is that this was a, that he sold a blackening test trainer, which means that Dalen is setting his foot into the ring. Well, not Dalen specifically, but machine wise is setting their foot into the ring of the blackening um, controversy. Let's put it. I want an Opus Trainer so badly, can't justify spending over 300. I think the Opus Trainer is absolutely worth 354. But he literally he sold one for 3 today, so. This was a great drop. This was a drop that like I personally wasn't too hyped about, but from the teal here to this $475 snakeskin snakeskin uh blade. Like, this was a hype drop. My friend was going to buy that until I convinced him not to. Bimby, why would you ever convince your friend not to buy that? An Opus trainer for 300 The Opus is on, on hiatus. Like, you're not going to be able to get an Opus for a while. Also, expect it is return is kind of funny. I'm just, I'm interested to see the blackening test. If I got a serif trainer, it would still have the serif sound, right? I actually don't know because the, the trainer blade would give a bit of a ring to it, which would probably dampen some of the effects of the beautiful serif sound. How much is a Blem Prisma V2? Uh, 150. How do I make ballast on content without get it getting taken down every time? Uh, be older than 18. Otherwise, post on Instagram or something. What if I don't show my face? Doesn't matter. YouTube is pretty good at detecting voices that are younger than 18. Even if older than 18, still a coin toss sometimes. I lost three videos to YouTube even though I've been above 18 since I started making YouTube videos. So, well, started making ballast song YouTube videos. Okay, then what if I don't talk? Then what's the point of making the content that you would want to make? Welcome back, Bimby.
How does the swordfish balance compare to the squiddies balance? They're both pretty handle biased, but comparing a metal trainer to a plastic trainer just doesn't really work. You know who Chris the Bally guy is? I've heard the name. I don't know him personally. Um, I am going to go to the bathroom real quick, chat. I'll be right back. I'm going to leave you guys with a Blade Bias video, if you don't mind. As usual. And now I have ad blockers, so hopefully there's not any stupid ads. Um, you guys get the Prisma Pro video from today, so have fun. Everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. Whereas the slish, what up everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. I spent a BRB. more than a week, let's be honest, with the Prisma Pro, and it made me a better flipper, genuinely. The Prisma Pro might be, actually forget might be, it is one of my favorite trainers on the market, and quite possibly I would say one of the best price to performance ratios that you can get in the sub even $300 range. This thing is truly astonishing in almost every way. And I am so excited about the Prisma Pro and just Dalen stuff in general. So first we'll talk about why the Prisma Pro made me a better flipper and then I'll go over a more kind of standard I spent a week with video uh, about the Prisma Pro. So I'm someone who hasn't really cared about getting better at flipping. You know, I am good enough to evaluate a Balasong, chaplains, choker fans, rollovers, etc. I'm good enough to say, hey, I can feel what's going on here. I know what I like. I know what I don't like, etc. You know, but I've never really cared about getting better. It never really stuck in my brain that I was like, I'm going to be some crazy flipper because most of my free time was dedicated to making content. It's what I enjoyed far more. <laughs> it's what I enjoyed far more than just sitting down and putting time into learning new tricks and all that. But the Prisma Pro has changed all of that. Now, I don't want to de um I don't want to snuff my or I don't want to downplay my excitement of the Slift T because the Slift T was the same way for me when I first got it. Um, and that hasn't changed. It's still really exciting. But the Slift T for me has been a Balasong that has allowed me to flip a live blade confidently again. It cleaned up my flipping to the point where I can do my entire trick repertoire on the live blade without worrying about getting cut or anything like that. Like, it's all, it's all there because of the Slift T. I just really, really enjoy flipping it. It's a really good live blade. It fits my preferences. Maybe not perfectly, but good enough. To the point where I was able to get to a point where I could flip a live blade confidently again. It was great. But learning new tricks, it didn't really help with. Because I don't like learning new tricks on a live blade. I like smoothing out the tricks on a live blade. Alright, alright. There we go. Alrighty. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'd get the Opus, but my parents learned I spent over a hundred on something the size of scissors. No real use other than entertainment. I'm fucked. So what do your parents think about headphones or keyboards or phones in general? What spot would the Cygnus be on your list? The Cygnus... I want to do this one day where I get every single ballast song I've ever tried and do a tier list. Like, bring on, like, Ty. Ah, probably not Ty anymore. Bring on someone who's had similar experiences to me and do a tier list of every single ballast song that I have tried. The Cygnus is a solid S tier for me. Maybe high A+. Plus, but I don't think it breaks... I think it's like number five, if I just had to guess. It doesn't beat the Seraph for me. It doesn't beat the Tsunami for me. Um, honestly, it doesn't even beat something like the Slift T for me anymore. So. 
my parents ever freaked out about the way I spend my own money. As long as it's not illegal, I don't think I would talk to them anymore. I, I think both sides have a point here. I think it is, like, if you're spending a stupid amount of money on stupid things and you're being really financially irresponsible, I think it's okay for your family to step in and say, hey, I'm worried about you, maybe, like, I'm, I'm worried, you know? But I also think, in this specific case, I don't think your parents should really care what you spend your hard-earned money on. Bring Brandon. It, the problem with bringing someone else is that, like, at the end of the day, I would want it to be my tier list because I would want to be able to point to people at it to say, here's what I think about these ballot songs. So, like, having another person there, it wouldn't exactly be to get my their opinions of where they think it would go, even though I would still want that. I'd still want to know what they think. But it's mostly just to, like, bounce off of and be like, oh, Devil's Advocate me why I shouldn't put the crack in an S tier, you know? The amount that parents freak out about having their kids having a hobby is wild. Yeah, that's true. Just create a tab for community voting. That's just the Bally Awards at that point. What if I did a Bally Awards style stream where it was a community voted tier list? Oh, it would be hell to organize, but it'd be so much fun. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write down that idea. He got a Prisma Pro three weeks ago. I told him to aim to have more variety in his collection. Prisma Trainer Blade, ugly for real. Yeah, but I feel like the Opus is just a better Prisma Pro at that point. Or the Opus Trainer. I totally, I agree with you, Bimby. But I think, I think convincing your friend not to buy a trainer that's a really good deal and also isn't going to be in production for a while is a very rare bimby l ridiculously rare bimby l All right. Um Thank you, Contraption Collections Instagram page. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? I think that might be... I might just end stream a little early tonight. So I can fix my sleep schedule. I think that might be the play. I care about my buddy spending because dang dude... That's fair. That's fair, Bimby. I forgive you. Just have quite a few. I think I'm I'm all for collecting, but I think it gets to a point where like you can only have and not like there's only so many good bala songs for like sixty dollars. Like you get the Vulp, you get the marbles, you get like the the Adax, the Comet. Um, 
the I can't even think of anymore, honestly. And then like you're kind of like there's not really much else to get. So at that point collecting I mean then again like you look at the IEM hobby and there's a bunch of people that have just all like the $20 IEMs cuz they're like genuinely good now like the QKZ HBBs or the uh Juan Ers or the freaking Cell Notes 0 or something like that and it's like yeah those people they have their entire collection is cheap IEMs and that perfectly fine so like yeah, I guess that's fair. Got the Moondrop Chews. They're pretty good for the try. Yeah, the Chews, which like single-handedly started the sub like $30 IEM market. I got a ghost. The head of the screw snapped and they don't sell hardware. Can I ask why you were tightening a plastic balisong so hard that the screw head snapped off? Because a lot of plastic balisongs aren't on bushings, so you shouldn't even be tightening them past the screw being tight anyway. Because, you know, washer tuning. I wasn't paying attention, but like... I feel bad for Ethan, why? There is no reason that anyone in this community should feel bad for me. I am in an incredibly lucky position. Listening, we're having people who care about my opinion. Um, brands care about my opinion. People watch me. People care about what I have to say, which is the same thing that I fucking already said. I've got subscriber base, like... There is no reason you should feel bad for me. I feel bad for you, parentheses, you don't unfortunately own 12 of each JK product. I guess I'm not I'm not rich enough to own every every high tech knife out there. Which is, it's so real, actually. You know what? I changed my mind. You guys should feel bad for me. Until I have at least 13 Orcas, you guys should feel awful for me. And I think you should personally donate to my PayPal. Um, every single dollar that you have so that I can make this dream a reality. Thoughts on Murdered Kraken colorway. I, why do I always get questions of thoughts on color? If you like the color, buy the color. It's an all-black Kraken. It's cool. I don't know. What do you want me to say? But seriously, that one guy, why do you feel bad for me? I need to know. I need to know why you would just randomly say that and then not elaborate. End of the stream, I have things to do. Uh, I actually, I can end. Darker valleys are harder to flip indoors. Yeah, especially when you have black carpet. It's not been the best.
Everything I say is troll. I, I mean, I figured. I have to deal with Kanto, so I figured. Learn to flip with eyes closed and poof, problem gone. Yeah, that's so true. Just learn how to like double, triple scissor with no, uh, no eyes. Closing your eyes. There's an idea for you. Blind flipper problems. Do you think there's a blind flipper out there? Like, not even... Not even, um... Being, like, mean or anything. Like, just genuinely curious. Because that would be pretty cool. How do I get Will's promo for the Kraken? I know he has his affiliate link, but it doesn't seem to work. Uh, I don't think you can use Will's affiliate code on the Liveblade Kraken. I think it has to be on their actual Squid Industries website. What even is their affiliate link? I forget. Is it squid.willhirsch.gay? Where's Brandon when you need him? We need him to shill his own code. Followed the link from the description of his Kraken Trainer video. Oh, that's why, because that code is old and doesn't work anymore. Squid.willhirsch.gay. Shop, trainers, Kraken Trainer, Kraken Trainer V3, Add to Cart, U Cart, Checkout. Yeah, works for me. Uh, you can get the Kraken Trainer for two hundred dollars. Still two nineteen? Nope, two oh two thirty nine. I obviously can't show you this page, but Scotty, just use one of the links from his most recent video. It's in the description of like all of his videos. Just, just go to that. Because code Will Hirsch at checkout doesn't work anymore. They had to change it because it was becoming too uh, well known, I guess. All right, chat. I think I think that's going to do it. I think that's, that's going to be it for the stream today. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to go fix my sleep schedule and flip a little bit. I need to flip a little bit more at night. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, thanks for taking valuable time out of your day to sit and watch me be stupid. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a good one. Uh, good night, good day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Make some good choices, flip some good ballast songs. Have a good time, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.